Pastor Tom here again. Remember months ago I showed you those little tomato plants that were up in my office? Well now they've gotten huge. There's some more over there. They've gotten huge. But now we have to take care and watch out because look it, there is a pest on the loose. There is something that is destroying this tomato plant. Look at the leaves are gone. And we gotta keep searching. We gotta keep looking. Hold on. He's gotta be here somewhere. He's gotta be here. There he is. There's the culprit. There's one way to get rid of this. We'll just trim this branch right off. That's the tomato bugs that we have to watch out for. There he is. So we had to prune part of the plant to get him because he destroyed this whole part of my plant and ate half of one of my tomatoes. So, and actually, now I got two of them. So we're gonna search the garden some more for some pests and we gotta get those pests out. Can you believe how that caterpillar just stripped the leaves off the end of that plant? He devoured the end of that plant. Uh, he's, those caterpillars are so destructive, it's pretty easy to tell when they're around. And talking about being devoured, that brought me right to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Discipline yourselves and keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith. For you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. Those tomato plants are a little bit special. If you go back three months in my videos, I'm looking at my computer here. Uh, it was my third video that I made. I was just learning how to make videos and post videos. And my third video, those tomato plants that I just showed you outside, they were only about this tall. They had just sprouted and that was uh, the first weekend that we had to uh, shut the church doors and start finding ways to worship online. So uh, those, those plants are pretty special, but I just, uh, when I saw how those bugs, how those caterpillars were just devouring the plant, uh, it reminded me of First Peter, how we have to be watchful because Satan is going to use everything he can to try to devour us. Those are Peter's words to us, that we need to be careful and discipline ourselves. So in other words, we need to worship together as Christians. We need to worship Jesus. We need to focus on Jesus. And these words from 1 Peter are, are so special at this time because it, Peter even goes on and says, your brothers and sisters around the world are undergoing the same kind of suffering. Uh, this virus is affecting countries all over the world. Uh, everyone's economies are suffering. Uh, we need to be mindful of that. We need to keep praying for an end to this pandemic. And we need to pray for those who are affected by this pandemic. So, let us go to the Lord in prayer now. Heavenly Father, thank you for all you've done. And as our lives grow in you, like the tomato plants outside have grown for me, Father, be there to protect me when Satan chomps at me when he tries to devour me. 
Father, cut him off from my life. Like the caterpillar was cut from that vine. Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. But Father, we want to lift up those who are affected by the, the crisis and this pandemic going on. Father, we want to pray for our leaders. And Father, we want to pray for all these things that are distracting us from fully serving you. Father, in this time, help us to find ways to reach out to others and to share our love for you with them. And we ask this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.